my name is Valentino Gray, and I'm an illustrator. And we're here to talk about our business, Gobble Books. So, what exactly is Gobble Books? Why don't you let them know, Mr. Gray? Gobble Books is an indie press and website, as well as it publishes and sells, and it's written and illustrated creations of myself and Sherelle Denwood. We're a two-person partnership based in Nashville, Tennessee, and we focus on socially conscious children's e-books targeting the early reader demographic. So, why do we even want to do this in the first place? To promote African-American interest in reading at a young age. We also want to merge technology and reading in an innovative way. We want to fill a gap in the booming e-reading and mobile market by targeting readers of color. Another reason we want to do this is the future growth is limitless. True. According to James McKinney, a Forrester and analyst in a New York Times article, he said e-books will make up half of books sold by 2014. When is 2014? That's next year. That's next year. <clears throat> now, who's our audience? We want to make children's books, so of course, children is our main audience. But the early reader demographic doesn't have the money or the cell phones or the tablets to purchase those books. So we're going to target um, our own backyard and hopefully look at Nashville elementary schools as potential buyers, private, public, and charter, Nashville preschools, and Nashville public now, Mr. Gray, why don't you tell them how we plan on doing this? We're going to create books and sell them. Mainly, that's what we're going to do. That's a simple formula. Um, our first three books um, that are daily slated are about a brother and sister team, Nadia and Kwame. And what topics are we going to focus on? We're mainly going to focus on health, school, and family. Exactly. So where will we find these readers? We have two options. The first one will be a paid one, where we would do a book tour or go to festivals and pay for the vending space at either book fairs and tours or African street festivals. But for us, we're struggling students, so we want to look at some free options. And we want to target um, internet bloggers to potentially interview us about our book. And what's the main thing we really want to do? The email list is so important. We have to build that email list. We want to use social media, Facebook and Twitter, and we also want to make sure we have a presence on Smashwords, Amazon, and iBooks, which are digital publishing platforms. Now, Mr. Gray, why don't you tell them about the short-term growth we have in vision? Short-term growth is going to be audio books. Um, example would be um, audio creation, uh, the audio books creations. Exchange. Exchange. Yeah. yeah. The other um, potential short-term growth we have is print-on-demand technology. And what are some? Some options would be Lulu.com, um, CreateSpace.com, um, BabyBook.com, as well as Blur. Blur. Exactly. And for long-term growth, we want to look at traditional book publishing deals. In this day and age, having a hybrid publishing model is really, really beneficial to us. Um, possibly having some book events surrounding reading our books to a group of students and then talking to some talking about topics in a book afterwards. What's the name of the program you're doing this summer? This summer I'm doing a program at Yams. It's for the youth. Um, we can present the book to the youth and uh, talk a little bit about it. Also, um, we've been approached by the International Black Film Festival of Nashville to possibly put on a film festival for children later in the year. And from there, we could also promote the book. And of course, thinking big in the future future, we could look into movies, translated books, apps, and radio shows. And so we want to talk about our favorite test. If you don't mind, see where we're behind there. Um, so we, along with another colleague, kind of played around with creating our own digital book. And so we did it in an EPUB format and a um, PDF. And do you guys have cell phones with you? If you don't have some, if not, if you don't mind, so you might your cell phone out for us. And also for the viewers, um, you have text messaging, correct? <laughs> I know you do. So we just want to give you all the out. You do? You do? Okay, so we want to give a little bit of us to you. So if you don't mind, text Gobble Books and you would text it to 50500. If y'all want to do that, you can as well for a later time. So at the end of the year, we plan on having 10 titles in our catalog and adding 250 subscribers, which would total 500 subscribers.
subscribers to our email list. <clears throat> and so, why do we even want to do the NBIC student program? Mentoring. I like mentoring. Well, what's another reason? Learning. Learning is always good. Practical business knowledge is something we really need. As an educator, what else do you like about the program? I like stru structured guidance. I like that. Hands-on learning, and last but not least, the track record. How many business? Well, what percentage of businesses are successful that go through this program? Ninety-six percent. That means we have a high chance of succeeding. So that concludes our presentation of Bible Books. Thank you. I'm Angela Crane Jones. I'm the Executive Director at the National Business Incubation Center. I'm John Arden, and I'm the director here at the Small Business Direct Development Center at Tennessee State University. My name is Gregory Jones. I'm a business consultant with the Tennessee Small Business Development Center. How did we come up? Is it going to be $4.99 a book? We talked about different price points. Mm -hmm. um, what, what is it? Oh, other books, you know, we I'm not sure books it. that sell it for. Um, it depends. Uh, the printed books with a traditional publisher, hard copies go from $16.95 to $9.95. It just depends on the publisher. But other books like us, um, it just depends. They range anywhere from $0.99 cents to higher than the $4.99 price point. But we decided to look at the $4.99 and do that one. Um, different writers talk about when they raised their prices, they sold more books. Some people talk about when they lowered their prices, they sold more books. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of uh, a trial and error. What age group would you say this book will be um, targeted for? Five to seven. Mm -hmm. so, so if I'm trying to acquire a long-term customer, am I going to am I, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is the sale book to book? Or is, it, or is it some type of annual subscriber? I don't know. I mean, I think that's something we kind of talked about. Um, similar to a magazine, we could do a subscriber fee, but children grow up, and mm -hmm. right. that would be a pricing model we could play around with. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the book, at the um, back, the last page, we can insert hyperlinks into the books. So readers can go to more of our books. So they're always buying our books. So, so this is an altruistic endeavor? You said this is what? An altruistic endeavor? I think so, in a way. I mean, I think our generation is all about social change. What can we do to help the community? And so this is our contribution. And if we can make a living from that, then hey, that's two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's African American, but where is the education? You know, because you said mm -hmm. you're educated. I know mm -hmm. that you're an educator, so mm -hmm. you're an educator. Where I get the dad's girl, mm -hmm. Greg being African American father, and has a daughter. But you're an educator. So I had to incorporate some education into those. In, the, in your next few books. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we want to focus more on issues that kind of impact our community. That's why we decided to focus on health, family, and school. Sorry. This book right here was done with another friend as the illustrator. And so, um, again, it was just an experiment. It was an idea of let's see what happens. And so we want to be more focused in future books on educating the children about things that impact their lives. NBIC welcomes Sherelle Dinwiddie and Valentino Gray of Gobble Books to the NBIC Student Business Incubation Program.